Now, while UAE immigration laws are strict, a constantly transient population often leads to the huge challenge of human trafficking. But what happens to trafficked women after they've been rescued? Well, our own Priyanka Dutt visited the UAE's only shelter that's specifically built for the victims of trafficking to find out. The women here know her as Mama Sara, the lady who has for the past few years worked tirelessly for victims of human trafficking. She heads Eva, a shelter for rescued women a temporary home for them while their cases are being fought in the courts. The UAE's fight against human trafficking started in 2006 with the passing of Federal Law 51. The following year, the National Committee to Combat Human Trafficking was set up, a federal body that coordinated the country's efforts to tackle this problem, both at an international and national level. But while they focused on the law and order aspects of this problem, there was an urgent need to also look at the psychological and social welfare of the rescued women. And so, in 2008, Eva was set up. Actually, in the beginning, it wasn't easy for us. We don't have any experience in this field. Um, then, uh, after years, uh, after six years, we know the, that exactly what we do. It's been a slow but focused fight, with more gains being made each year. So, for instance, in 2012, 42 cases of human trafficking were reported, almost four times the cases in 2007. A clear indication that with increasing awareness, more people were able to identify and report the crime. With respect to the National Committee, they train all entities working in the field of human trafficking, whether police, prosecutors, even judges. Uh, there is a law, but if they weren't trained to know how to identify those victims of human trafficking, there won't be any use of this, um, of, of this law. But the big question, often overlooked, is what happens to victims of trafficking once they have been rescued? Are they ever able to get justice? Or more importantly, pick up the pieces and start a normal life? This is a crucial gap that the EVA shelter fills. We don't only rescue the victim, uh, we empower them. At the shelter, we see how empowerment works at every level, from counselling to deal with the trauma of having been trafficked, to social workers teaching them skills like reading and writing, to eventually even vocational training to help the women restart their lives after leaving the shelter. We work on, on I think, on two levels, psychological and, uh, let us say, occupational, if you want to say, or if we can say. Uh, here, we try to encourage them, to support them, that it's not the end of the world. This will make you stronger. And it depends on you. You want to fall down, okay. You want to wake up and fight for your rights. Actually, we have a class for uh, painting. This uh, is type of counseling, of, it's type of psychotherapy, the painting, because some victims, they, they don't like to express, they don't, they don't like to talk about what, what happened for them. Just we try to let them to draw. To draw to painting, so they express, they express their emotion through the, the drawer or the pictures. And this is what strikes you the most about the centre, how cheerful and full of optimism it is. Not an easy achievement when you hear the stories of how the women got here. Human trafficking knows no nationality or age. In the last five years, 209 women and children from all over the world have been rescued and rehabilitated at this shelter. The youngest victim was just five years old. It was so hard to see her that she thought that what she's doing is correct and it's normal and it's, um, it's okay. Um, the, her, the problem is her family were the people who trafficked her. They take her to an environment which is not suitable for children, for her to get used to it and feel that it's okay so that it would be easy later for them to traffic her. In this case, this girl, when she came, we had to start with her from stage zero, meaning we had to teach her manners. We had to teach her how to talk. We had to, te to break um, all the uh, basics that are built already in her mind. We had to break it all psychologically and rebuild manners, ethics, um, uh, self-confidence. But I'm really proud that she learned how to read and write mm -hmm. here. And to know that this is the real life of children, to play, to read, to write, and to know that it's a different word than the word she used to live in. The staff at the shelter proudly tells me other success stories. 
women who came in battered but were confident and fearless by the time they left. Human trafficking, especially for prostitution, affects millions of women worldwide. And while there are very few countries today that are not part of the global fight against trafficking, meeting the women at EWA highlights how rehabilitating and empowering rescued women is an equally important part of the fight. Priyanka Dutt, Emirates 24-7.